bears are squealing like little piggies as Bitcoin and many altcoins continue to see itsy bitsy pumpage across the markets. While the SPX continues to climb above all key daily moving averages and closes in on the 50 weekly moving average, the bears right now are wiping their tears with the crusty socks underneath their beds that only a few months ago they were using to celebrate inside of. And with Bitcoin and the broader markets potentially on the verge of their biggest breakout since summer of 2021, when your mother was out by the pool in her bikini waiting for the neighborhood boys to come and pay her a little extra attention, if you know what I mean, while you were in the basement staring at charts thinking about how much your mom would love you if you accomplished just one thing in your life. It seems as though it's time for the basement baby moon boys to bust once and for all. I'm your host, Spudrick Shosh, and as the Moon Boys wait patiently for a green god candle so they can quit their jobs posing as women on OnlyFans for extra cash, will the Bitcoin Boys walk away as millionaire baby boy geniuses, or will they walk away with their cheeks glued tight and shut, uh, tightly shut, after a fake out breakout? Mommy make out confirmed. Make sure to like, subscribe. Share news with these absolute time sensitive alerts as well. If you guys are interested in any deals, bonuses, uh, getting altcoins, trading, uh, securing your crypto, uh, or staking your ADA with our pool, make sure to check out all the links below. I have one Twitter and one Instagram, and I have to say that every video because every single day I get messages from you guys saying, hey, is this you? And it's never me. My only accounts are in the description below. Uh, and without any further, Magoo. Mm, let's make a mess. Absolutely bigger than your mother's desire to go back in time and purchase plan B. And I'm not talking about Bitcoin, if you know what I mean. Absolutely very big. So guys, uh, very big things going on with crypto today. In fact, Bitcoin is right around 45K as we've seemingly, as we've been talking about, exited this very tight consolidation of the past two months, potentially symmetrical triangle. Many people were charting it also as a uh, ascending triangle. Either way, very bullish that uh, many things happen on this chart higher lows uh, with this macro structure as we see this MACD even tighter as we're about to see this cross that we've been following for months now. Um, momentum obviously I think is in store for a few months of upside action even if that means afterwards we might go down. Uh, I have no idea. Nobody has any idea. That's too far in the future. But right now the technicals are showing that it's very very likely that we are going to see some relief over the next couple of months. That doesn't mean by tomorrow. That doesn't mean by Sunday, just, you know, again, this is a waiting game. This, we've been talking about this curvature up uh, since it really started um, at the end of January. So it's been many months in the making. And even before that, right, when we saw this curve downwards and we thought, okay, well, this isn't going to be that fun. And it truly was not in terms of the price action getting dumpy. However, on these macro charts, guys, everything held. So that's very good. And before we actually get into the shorter term price action with Bitcoin, let's take a squeak peek here. Bitcoin on the verge of a major breakout and what else is happening in crypto today? So Bitcoin and other cryptos moved higher today on Friday, getting a boost from accelerating institutional adoption and a return of appetite for risk among investors in wider markets. And again, I ask you this question. If the appetite for risk continues to increase uh, and we get rid of some of the uncertainty around the world and macroeconomically, what do you think uh, people are going to be looking to first? I think it's very clear that anybody with uh, even five minutes worth of knowledge uh, over the past year of um, what looks exciting and promising for the future, it would be Bitcoin. Meaning, you know, if people get a risk or an appetite for risk, uh, if investors get an appetite for risk, then they will be looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, and, and just some of these top altcoins and crypto as a whole, the entire sector here. Bitcoin is on the verge of a major breakout as the price is on course to test 45K. So this article was written before we actually tested 45K, which we have, but it has been very strong resistance since January here. And um, yeah, it, that doesn't mean we're going to break 45 once and for all here, but we got another test of it, which is important. It's all about which way the price action is pushing, even though there are lots of ups and downs. Usually if Bitcoin makes one big push in a day, then it doesn't really make a push until the next day, right? There's not usually a ton of pushes in the same day. Like for example, yesterday, um, we saw Bitcoin uh, push against 44 and we broke 44 and now we saw it push against 45 so it and you can see it kind of just incrementally happening it's not like it's not like it just went up thousands of dollars all at once you see over the past week this has been a slow progression or even just over the last few days uh, a couple thousand dollars or about a thousand dollars each day so far and usually again breakouts start off like that uh, like with these smaller moves before they turn even into bigger moves. So uh, again, even if we have topped out for the day today, that wouldn't be a bad thing. 45 is a milestone 
today over the last 24 hours that I think is very good here. But uh, Hasegawa at BitBank also said that the funding rate for continuous contract futures plunge into negative, ter negative territory, signaling that significant positions have been accumulated by short sellers. So people looking to short Bitcoin, we've seen those positions open. And the accumulation of those short positions could result in a cascade of short covering in case of a breakout, which in turn could push up the price significantly, aka a short squeeze, basically. Uh, and the upper price target is between 48, 50,000, big psychological level. And if it fails to test 45, which it has already tested 45, again, another pullback to 42 is not out of the cards at all. I mean, that could happen within an hour of this. So that's not a bad thing. Um, the, the point is we see the price action picking a direction day after day. And what that direction looks like so far is to the upside. The end as well, very good news here. European crypto regulatory framework goes to three-way consideration without proof of work ban. So there was a prospect, prospect of cryptos that use proof of work, uh, making a way to the European digital asset directive appearing. Uh, or basically, uh, there doesn't seem to be any negative ramifications in European law that could come out of this uh, against proof of work, which is good. Um, we don't want any like very harmful regulation in the EU, in the US, anywhere, right? It's And it doesn't really seem to be shaping up that way. So again, this is good news, just very small. Like the deadline was actually yesterday, the 24th, and it was the last day when the European Parliament could stop the current draft of the markets in crypto assets or MICA from proceeding to further consideration. And as well, uh, two things I want to talk about real quick. Uh, two posts that I find interesting. I'm tired of reading experts and special analysts, special analysts predicting the market. You can't predict the market. You can get lucky or get burned. And he made a pretty good point here. Uh, uh, I believe that, you know, technical analysis can be helpful from time to time, but it cannot predict the market. That's true. Uh, TA cannot predict China banning Bitcoin for the thousandth time. It cannot predict a war. It cannot predict, um, you know, executive orders. It can't predict those things, right? And it's not supposed to. The point of TA is to give you a framework and to be used as a tool to, mm, even if it only minimally increases your chance of trading better, that's still better than not using it. Right? If you had a tool that could make you 5% more successful at something, that doesn't guarantee you're going to be successful. But uh, if you use that as a tool, why would you or why would you not use that? You want to use every single thing that can give you the smallest advantage. And uh, if you do that with many different things, one of them including TA, then you just have in a, a smaller, uh, incrementally built uh, foundation of which you can increase your chance of success, right? So th there's nothing you can guarantee 100% you're going to be successful at unless you're born like a trust fund baby and your dad or mom can just buy you everything and buy you positions and buy you power. That's kind of like the only 100% chance. Although even with that, you could just get in a car crash and die. So there's no guarantee with that either. Uh, there's no guarantee of anything. But the point is every little tool you can use to increase your chance of succeeding, why would you not use it? And that's what TA is, right? Uh, so it's silly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, their their post is accurate, I think. Um, so yeah, and also crypto trading is dominated by young men, particularly those under the age of 30. As I've shown before, I think about a month ago, I posted my uh, analytics on this channel. 93% of my audience is male between the age of 25 and 45. So that's like most of my audience. And that number is not just mine. Uh, people in the comments thought that because I make mommy jokes, that's that's why I have that audience. If you go across YouTube and um, crypto analytics in general, that's just what the demographic is. Before I even made jokes, I mean, I had a channel for two years um, with the same analytics. And if you ask any of the other big channels too, like that's literally what it is. It's, it's mostly men. Um, and it is, this does talk about overconfidence, meaning men tend to get more overconfident, which lends itself to like gambling or trading or investing, whatever, which are all kind of synonymous anyway. Gambling, trading, investing are all basically the same thing. I mean, let's be honest, you can try to differentiate that, but at the end of the day, they're very, very, very similar. Yes, there are differences, but at the end of the day, we're trying to make money and we are, eh, you know, it's, it's not as different as I think a lot of people would like to portray it as. But yeah, I think, but I think this is interesting. And again, around age 30, where you can risk a lot and if you lose it, yeah, you're still young enough where you can kind of make some back. You still have a fair amount of life ahead of you, um, ideally. But uh, yeah, I, d I do think it is very important for women to get more into crypto. Uh, mainly the the big Twitter, women, well, never mind. I won't say that. I'm not going to get into a, I'm not going to open a can of worms here. Uh, but yeah, so we have 45,000 as Bitcoin's current target here, as we've been slowly inching out of this level, uh, obviously breaking the previous high, the lower high of around 45, 
four, 45.5 to round up just by $100, very important. And then slightly above that was around 46. So we're very close. Uh, and it would be beautiful to see that today. There's no guarantee it'll be today, but again, just something I think is a lot of people are watching for. And as well in this weekly chart, we still see this 50 going potentially below the 200 day moving average, or sorry, the 21 going below the 50. We will see this cross, but again, we have a lot of indicators showing the opposite. That we're going to see a relief here and again these are long or these are shorter term moving averages uh macd kind of just showing a little bit more of the momentum swing also using mover, moving averages for this indicator like that's what it's made with so overall looking pretty good and uh yeah spx climbing as well as helping bitcoin and altcoins are also doing very well so uh yeah again i still believe as i've been saying for months that uh, this is slowly going to turn into some type of relief even if it is short term but um, I personally think like minimum we'll see 50,000 uh, before this rally ends. And that's not even saying that much. That's, that's, that's not, I mean, that, what is that? Like that would be like another 12% pump, which would still, that would barely be a pump to be honest. If uh, we you know we just had this downtrend going like 50, over 50% to the downside. And then from the low of there only pumping another 50% uh, to the upside, which again, remember how percentages work. If it drops 50% and then goes up 50%, that does not take you to what it was before it dropped 50%, right? Dropping 50% from 69, nice, takes you to about 33, and then pumping from 33 up to 50% only takes you back to about 51. It does not take you back to that uh, original one, right? Because percentages work differently depending on which direction uh, it's going. Music is a new channel. Music is a new channel. This is absolute time since the alerts below. If you guys are any bonuses, deals, getting uh, altcoins, trading, um, securing crypto, joining our uh, ADA pool, make sure to check out all the links below. And as well, I have one Twitter and one Instagram. The rest are all fake accounts. And without any further ado, that's it for me.